All right, now let me ask you one more question. How many of you, okay, let me just say a show. How many of you are born again? You're born again, you know you're born again. There you go. Okay, now, here's the question. How'd you get born again? Because I believe the Bible tells us that there is no other name under heaven whereby men must be saved but the name of Jesus. Isn't that right? So how do you get saved with the name of Jesus? You have to have faith in Jesus and faith in his name. Is that right? Amen. So if you don't have faith in the name of Jesus, you're not saved. So if you are saved, you have faith in the name of Jesus. Is that correct? Amen. And you're all sure you're saved. Yes. So you're telling me that you have faith in the name of Jesus. Yes. So what you're actually telling me is you have what Peter said, healed the lame man. That's what you're telling me. That's, right. That's what you got. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So why aren't we healing more lame people? Why? Because we have traditions that says, well, but you don't understand. Uh, I, I hadn't been good enough. Well, Peter killed that. Right? Well, you don't understand. Uh, I don't have an anointing. Uh, I beg to differ, but we don't have time to talk about that right now. Right? But we'll talk about that maybe Sunday. We'll see. We'll, whatever we got to do. But all I want you to realize is that with Jesus, God gave you everything. Yes. You have access to everything. Amen. We have what Elijah didn't have. He died not having received the promise. We have the promise. We have the promise of life. We have the promise of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus himself said, stay here until you get the promise of my Father, the baptism of the Spirit. And he says, why? Because you shall receive miraculous power, dunamis. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now, how many of you received the Holy Ghost before today? Before today. So this would be after that. So you got power. Amen. Smith Wigglesworth said, it is an insult to God to ask for power after you have received the Holy Ghost. He said the Bible is just simply to be read, believed, consumed, and acted upon. He said, if it's in the, now get to, he said, if it's in the Bible, you don't even have to be, you don't even have to pray about it. He said it is to be believed and acted upon. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't pray because we should pray always. But there's things you don't have to pray about. See, these promises, all the, why do you need to pray for the promises whenever all the promises are yes and amen? amen. Isn't that kind of redundant? Right? You've already, he's already gave them to you. He has, now listen to this, Ephesians 1.3 tells us that he has already blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven. Place. Is power a blessing? Uh-huh, okay. Healing a blessing? Uh-huh. Uh, financial blessing? Provision of blessing? Yeah. Okay, guess what? All that's been granted. It's already been granted. It's already been, he has already blessed you. He's already granted that and released it. Now it's up to us to believe him. And the minute we believe him, there's a divine chemical reaction that takes place. When you take the word and you take your faith and you put them together, it creates a divine chemical reaction. And that chemical reaction is called a miracle. It's called a healing. It's called whatever. Why? Because it's his spirit in you. The Spirit of God in a human makes a Christian. So if you are a Christian, you have the Spirit of God in you. And if you do not have the Spirit of Christ, guess what? You're none of His. So you either got it or you don't. It's just that simple. Now, the problem is, most people, last story, I'm, I'm hurrying, I'll, I'm hurrying, last story. I was driving down the road years ago, real fast in the back, down a back alley, kind of back roads in this old beat up car and it sounded like God spoke from the back seat because I'm going on and I'm praying and it sounds so holy and oh it's just so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking God's going to say angels come listen to this prayer you got to hear that this prayer is so holy it's so good and I'm just praying oh God oh God and I'm just going on and I said God I need the gift of healing I want a gift of healing God give me a gift of healing I need the gift of healing and God spoke like he was in the back I mean literally I'm driving I'm kind of like I know he's there in there somewhere and he said what do you want, a gift of healing or a gift of feeling? And I said, I want a gift of healing. He said, how do you know you don't already have it? I said, because I don't feel. I don't feel it. And he said, so you really want a gift of feeling? I'm like, no, I want a gift of healing. I could tell you, no, maybe I'll tell you a story Sunday. We'll see. Uh, if, I, if I have to, we'll see what we do. But I just want you to realize I'm no different than anybody else, but I've seen stuff. And I've gotten to go around the world and watch Jesus do all the stuff he said he will do. And it's just anybody can do it. Anybody can do this. There's nothing special. Amen? Why? The only special one is him. 
He's the only one that's special. The rest of us, we just get in on it. That's what makes it so awesome. Amen? Come on. So, listen. Tonight, right now, just believe God. Just trust God. Just know that right now, right now, his life, his strength, his power is touching you. I'd rather him touch you than me touch you. Because if I touch you and you get healed, you're going to go out talking about a Curry Blake meat. No, 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 no. I'd rather him touch you. And that way you say, Jesus did this. Because that's Christianity. You with a direct connection to Jesus. No other mediator than Jesus. Amen? Amen? So, Father, we thank you. We bless your people. We release your blessings upon them. And, Father, we thank you that you have blessed us with all spiritual blessings. And we say in the name of Jesus right now, those here and those watching, be healed now. Be free now. In Jesus' name. So be it. Amen. 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 All right.